This is Martin Curlow with PicoCTF 2017 problem, guess the number. For the guess the number problem, we're told that we have a simple number guessing game running on port 64739. So it asked me for a number. If I guess it right, I get a shell. All right, 45 is not the right number. Let's see. So it asks, what's the program doing with the input number? We're given both the source and binary. We get the number from the keyboard. We're going to shift it to the right four places, four bits, and we're going to cast it to a function pointer and call it. So if we look at this win method, if we could just get the address of the win method in there, uh, shift it to the left four, because it's going to shift it to the right four, then we're going to win. The address of the win method here is 804852B. So 804852B. Now if we shift that to the left 4, that's the same thing as multiplying by 16 in decimal. So we get this number. So let's give that a whirl. Okay, now you'll see that it tells me back a different number than I gave it. So the number that I gave it was too big. The hint is telling me here that this string conversion to a long number checks for an overflow. But it also gives me the hint that it's going to allow negative numbers. So if I look at that again, and I convert it down to a 32-bit number in my calculator, you'll see that this number has become negative. And so my hex number is in fact shifted to the left four spots, 804852B, shifted to the left four spots, which is one hex digit. And because of two's complement notation, I have this negative 2,142,743,888. So let's take that negative number and we'll give that a try. And congratulations, I have a shell. And there's my flag, which I can submit.